Hey, welcome back. We're at Exodus chapter 12 today, verses 30 to 32. The 10th plague is just struck, and we're just going to pick it right up there in those three verses. Pharaoh arose in the night, he and all his servants and all the Egyptians. And there was a great cry in Egypt, for there was no home where there was not someone dead. Then he called for Moses and Aaron at night and said, Rise up, get out from among my people, both you and the sons of Israel, and go worship the Lord as you have said. Take both your flocks and your herds, as you have said, and go, and bless me also. So all throughout Egypt, there are dead firstborn. Remember, this was foretold. It was pre-warned. All you have to do is these things. You can avoid this. But no, there's dead people everywhere. And now Pharaoh's message to Moses and Aaron is to leave. Just go, just go now, take everything, no conditions, just, just, just go, and immediately go. By the way, there's something, I don't know if you noticed it, but here for the first time, the first time, Pharaoh refers to the Hebrews as the sons of Israel. So this is kind of a national recognition. This is a nation of people. This is a particular nation. These aren't just people that we're force, forcing to do our labor for us. They're actually a people. And now they're going to go and worship the Lord. Pharaoh's message also ends with the first use of a certain word, a Hebrew word in the book of Exodus. It's the word barak. Barak, it's the word that means blessing. Barakaya, you've probably heard that word. It means to bless. And so he says, and bless me also. Pharaoh wants to be blessed. It's kind of interesting here too, because all through the, the different plagues, at different times when Pharaoh said to Moses, please pray for me, please intercede for me for God and do this, even though he's sort of like 100% of the time went back on his word, Moses, each time, each and every time, he goes out from, from Pharaoh and he does. He prays, he prays the very thing that Pharaoh asked to be prayed. I mean, every single time. And so this time is interesting though, because this time we don't, we don't have that. There's no indication here that, that after this, that Pharaoh was blessed. So we just, we're just not told that that happened. There's no indication that it happened. Pharaoh asks to be blessed. And that's kind of like the ultimate humiliation probably, isn't it? Remember all the way back there at the beginning of this stuff? Do you remember when Pharaoh had asked, who is the Lord that I should obey his voice? I do not know the Lord and I will not let the people go. Remember that stuff? Well, and now here, all the people are going, all the cattle, everything's going. And at the very end, Pharaoh says, oh, and bless me also. So now all Egypt knows the power of God's word. And now the Hebrews will go. Now we're going to have the Exodus. See you tomorrow morning.